G'day everyone, Tim from the vMix here, and today I bring you some more good news about loads of encodes. Since the very beginning of vMix, we put a lot of emphasis on utilizing graphics cards for video processing and encoding. We've recommended NVIDIA GPUs because they offer awesome hardware encoding for your streams and your records via NVENC, which is their hardware encoder. Using these hardware encode options in vMix makes it super reliable and powerful. As of the latest version of the NVIDIA drivers, 551.23, they have increased the maximum number of concurrent NVENC sessions from 5 to 8 on supported GeForce GPUs. Shout out to EposVox for picking this up. This was updated from 3 to 5 last year, and from 2 to 3 a few years before that. So if you're a bit behind, this could be a huge jump for you. You could go from 2 or 3 encodes all the way up to 8. Now, having a look at the NVIDIA encoder matrix, you can see that this update goes right back to the 700 series cards. Now, although the limit has been lifted to eight simultaneous encodes, you're still restricted by how much content your GPU's encoder chip can actually process. Newer cards can handle a lot more content than older ones that might only be able to handle, say, eight low resolution encodes. So we think this is really exciting news as for the longest time, these cards have been restricted to two, three, or five encodes. And now we have eight, that's right, eight. So with eight hardware encodes, you could really go hard with loads of encodes. For example, you could do something like two records, three streams, and three ISO recordings via the multi-corder, which is pretty cool. Now I'm currently doing two records, one stream, and five multi-recordings on the RTX 4070 that I have in this computer at 1080p 60. And as you can see, everything seems to be going all right. I've got great render times, I'm not dropping any frames or anything like that, so everything is going really well. Now you might be wondering, well, how do I turn those hardware encodes on? Well, in things like your recording and streaming settings, you can click on the little gear icon and go into the settings. Then for your options, you'll see here, use hardware encoder. By ticking this box, you're going to use one of the hardware encoders on your GPU. So now we have eight, you can tick this box eight times in vMix. Now this driver update came out last week and there haven't been any sort of major issues with it. So some people do like to wait a little bit before updating their drivers. That's entirely up to you. Now, as always with anything to do with live streaming, make sure you follow the three rules of live streaming to test, test and test again. Now, before putting this out into your production environment with the eight encodes, I would definitely extensively test it. Unfortunately, I just released a bunch of videos about live streaming that talk about five encodes. So now I need to go and edit those and upload them again. Now you might see some old references on our website to lower than eight encodes, maybe five or even three. So bear with us as we update those as well. So thanks for watching and we'll stream you later.